Hi, it's Lisa. <clears throat> I thought I'd do a little bit of an update on um, Christmas cards and what's going on with my knee. So, um, the first one I'd like to share, I got a small package for my sister Mindy. And um, she lives in Virginia with her husband. He's retired military. And um, she sent me a wrapped gift. And I'm hoping that it's one of Reggie's artworks and if it is um, after I open it on Christmas Day um, I will show you because he's very very talented and in the box was these and if you look at them they're um, little marshmallows in the shape of snowmen in the flavor French vanilla and she wrote on the note it says add to hot cocoa and enjoy and I will, Mindy. I will enjoy those very much. Those are so cute, and I bet they're delicious. The other thing about my sister Mindy is, um, if anybody has gotten me into crafts, I blame her. <laughs> um, she's the one who taught me how to cross stitch. Um, she's been uh, an inspiration to me, and she has a craft room that. Um, most paper crafters would give their eye teeth for. I mean, seriously, she has all of the cool stuff. And um, the only thing that I have ever surprised her with is a pocket letter. Um, she had never seen those before. I sent her a pocket letter last year. And, um, yeah, she's awesome. And her craft room is to die for. But she's in Virginia, not Texas. So it says to Lisa and Greg and she makes all her cards and it says Merry Christmas and I'm sure she she cut this out and I don't know if she has a Sizzix or a Cricut or what she has but she has something or a Gemini I don't know what she has but but it's a beautiful card kind of simple but it's really beautiful so thank you Mindy I love you um, I'm not worthy. <laughs> the next one I got is from my sister Christy. She lives in Michigan. She's a school teacher. The pretty envelope. The envelope. We love it when they decorate the envelopes. I wish all companies would do. And it just says, with warm thoughts at Christmas time. And it's all glittery and it's pretty. And she just says, I hope you have a warm and beautiful Christmas. Beautiful. Thank you, Christy. The next one comes from um, my husband's Aunt Jo. Um, I love these. It's like a curry or an Ives print. I don't know if the sparkle is coming through, but so gorgeous. Um, Aunt Jo lives in uh, Texas. She lives in Tyler, Texas. And... Um, I get to see her a couple times a year, so it's always a treat to see her. She's a lovely, lovely lady. She works at a doctor's office. And Aunt Jo just says, Merry Christmas. Love y'all. Beautiful. <clears throat> the next two, this one is from Barbara Exume. And I, I love Barbara. She lives in Florida. Um, we've done swaps. She's just the sweetest, nicest lady ever. And so I'm excited to see what she sent me. Oh, look at inside the envelope. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Oh, I think she made her card. And she did. That is really pretty, Barbara. Can you imagine placing every single one of those green vines? So cute. Dear Lisa and family, here's to a Christmas filled with love, laughter, and all you can wish for. Best wishes, Barbara Exume. Oh, Barbara, I love you too. Happy Christmas. And then the next one I got is from Lori Suda. And Lori Suda was in the David V. Swap. And Lori lives in Pennsylvania. And let's see what it says. Ah, it's a bear. Oh, oh, that's cute. Wishing you peace, love, and joy this holiday season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And 
it says Lori Suda, and it says Ellen K. Halls and Crafts. So I'm assuming that's her uh, YouTube channel, so I will link that below. Thank you, Lori. And look what Lori sent me. Aww, an L for Lisa. Cute, cute, cute. So thank you all for my Christmas cards. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to drink a coffee. See my snowman? Last year from the Dollar Tree. So I was going to give you a little update on my needs. If you're not interested, then anyway. So I went back to work on Wednesday, and I told them that I needed to see the workman's comp doctor. And so... Um, they said, well, we don't know, you know, it happened last Friday, and blah, blah, blah. So finally, they called corporate, and corporate's like, yeah, send her. She needs to go. So um, I worked maybe three, four hours, and I was really glad to get off my feet. And um, I went to the workman's comp doctor, which is right next to work, and um, she's like, okay you know so she gave me a shot and she gave me a prescription for medical grade um, ibuprofen and so those were free they did x-rays of my knees um, the left one was bothering me worse even though I landed on the right she said the x-ray on the right knee looked worse than the left and she was concerned about why there was pain I I what I believe happened is when I fell on my knee, I hyperextended my left knee. And so she said I had sprained my knees. And so they gave me the paperwork and there's no, nothing, you know, it's just, you know, take your ibuprofen, um, wear the knee brace. Um, I already have muscle relaxers for the mild arthritis in my back. Take that and you'll be fine. So I'm like, really? So I went home and I came back to work the next day and it was Thursday and it was a disaster. And of course I can't take muscle relaxers and work. I did the ibuprofen, I did the icing, I wore the knee brace. And quite frankly, the knee brace is exceptionally, I don't know if it's because my knee is swollen, but it just, it really bothered me. And so, by 9.30, I'm in tears, and I'm, my manager's like, Lisa, we have to do what the state of Texas says, and the state of Texas is determined that you can work. And I said, I'm going, I'm, she goes, I can send you home. And I said, fine, send me home, but I'm not going home. I'm going to the doctor's office. So I'm, you know, I'm in tears because it hurts. You know, it's not, it's no fun. And I, I, that day I worked maybe four and a half hours. So I went to the doctor's office and the normal workman's comp doctor wasn't there. And there was just this other doctor that was working that day. And he's like, I don't want to do anything for you. He gave me another shot in the buns on the other side, a, a pain shot. And he said, you know, go home, rest and then come back tonight when the workman's comp doctor's here. And I said, absolutely. <clears throat> so I went home, and I iced my knee, and I did whatever, and then I came back, and I got to the clinic that night, <clears throat> and I got in the office, and um, the nurse comes in, and he adjusted my um, knee brace, and then another lady comes in and goes, I'm really sorry, but we can't see you tonight. And I said, excuse me? And they're like, yeah, workman's comp will only pay for a doctor to see you um, once a day. And since you've already been seen, we can't see you. And I'm like, you're joking, right? She's like, no, you have to come back tomorrow. I'm like, I have to work tomorrow. I need somebody to tell me what's going on. She's like, I'm really sorry you know come back tomorrow and the doctor will be in after eight and i'm like oh my gosh and in order for workman's comp to work you have to play by their rules and their rules said that i could go that i could work with no restrictions 
so I went home and my husband's like what is going on and he you know he said a few bad words and I was like I agreed here but you know we got to play the game went to bed got up the next day um, went to work they're like what are you doing here I said I have to comply with what the workman's comp doctor said and the workman's comp doctor said I could work but they open at 8 so I'm gonna stay I'm gonna work 6 to 8 and I'm gonna leave and they said well that's probably the best thing to do you know to cover all our butts you know I um, the restaurants stuff and my stuff and anyway <clears throat> so I worked and it was bothering me again you know it, it's painful I'm not gonna lie it's like somebody punches you in the knees and you have to continue to walk around so you know I'm gimping around waiting on people thank God it wasn't busy so at 8 um, I left work and I went over to the doctor's office and I'm like, she finally saw me, and she's like, she apologized. She's like, I'm really sorry. They should have told you to come back the next day. I don't, somebody's mixed up. And I'm like, yeah, thank. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> the gist of it is, is they put me off of work until the 20th of December, which is Thursday to Thursday. So I go back Thursday. Um, she said that I could work if I could sit down. And I said, ma'am, do you realize what I do? I mean, I walk around all day. I, sh you know, I actually put her through the motions of what I'm, what I do during the day. You know, the reaching, the bending. The, I said, you know, I kneel and squat and bend and walk and, you know, for eight, nine, ten hours a day sometimes. It just depends on what the, what the shift calls for. And she says, well, we can't have you walking around. If they can have you sitting down and doing something, um, then you can work. And I said, even our hostesses don't sit down. I mean, nobody sits down at that job. And she's like, well, can you take a 15-minute break every 15 minutes and ice your knee? I'm like, really? No, it's not going to work, you know. I... This is not an office where I sit and type or answer the phone or something. If it was that, then it would not be a big deal. But it's a physical job, and it, it's, it takes every single muscle in your body, including your brain, your tongue, your knees, your back, and everything to do this job. And... I said, and to top it off, my boss is not going to pay me minimum wage or whatever to sit there and roll silverware for an hour or whatever. And she's like, well, you're just going to have to work that off with your, work it out with your boss. And I said, you know, this, I said, this is a disaster all the way around. I mean, especially financially. It could not come at a worse time of the year. <clears throat> so... I dropped off the paperwork to my boss. Um, they scheduled me for physical therapy on Wednesday afternoon. And then I have, so I have physical therapy Wednesday the 19th and then the 20th I go back to work. So I'm hoping that um, it works out. I mean, if I bump into it or like the other day I forgot and I kneeled down on my knee to pick up something. It was like, ay, 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 ay. you know, it's like somebody poked you in the knee. And it's not like a, like, oh, you bump your knee into something and then you rub it and it goes away. It's like a malingering thing, you know. And even for me to sit in the easy chair, I'm constantly adjusting to try and, because <clears throat> I'm uncomfortable. And, and that's me just walking around my house occasionally. So that's where we're at. So, um, anyway, thanks for everything. I love you guys. Thanks for the prayers. Thanks for the Christmas cards. I should go. This video is hellaciously long.
Merry Merry Christmas. Here's my salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree last year. Bye.